Welcome back, friends, to TV5 News at 9. It's time now, our favorite segment, Education Matters. We need this right now. Dr. Douglas is here. Thank you so much for being here. How are you, Dr. Douglas? I'm well, thank you. How are you, Colette? I'm doing great. Good. So glad to see you. So all summer long, we have really been talking about educational opportunities while kids are out of school. So today we are talking about giving back to the community. I love this topic. Dr. Douglas, what can students gain from community service opportunities? Well, I'll talk first person. A yes. As a volunteer myself, anytime I volunteer with our Lions Club, say, sure. uh, I feel that sense of accomplishment, that sense of worth. Well, students feel the same thing. If they, if they are engaged in a very specific challenge mm -hmm. with a team yes. and they finish that challenge, wow, oh what a sense gosh. of accomplishment. So that helps self-esteem efficacy, all those things that we want to build in our young people. Right. It's right there. Those are such important qualities. You know, how can being active in the community really help a student do better in the classroom? It's interesting, Colette, in yeah. researching for the segment. Um, there are many studies that show a correlation between those students who perform community service and their academic achievement. In fact, uh, the one article I read, it was trying to promote uh, community service as a graduation requirement. Well, that's a, that's a local decision for right. boards of education to make. But the point being, if students are engaged in community service, their academics are likely to improve. Wow. Isn't that powerful? I love that. Yeah. It can really help them and also, it, it can help those who they come in contact with as well, you know. It's a, well, it kind of makes sense because yeah. when you're in that team setting, you know, you've got communication yes. and, and other skills that are being honed and that really transfer well into the classroom. Yes, and you learn about being selfless, which is so important. Yeah. Voting is something that many adults do. So to stay engaged in their community, but kids, they can't vote. But how can they stay informed and involved through different service projects? They can, right, Dr. Yeah, Douglas? they can. In fact, by, by giving back in a community setting, yes. inherently the students understand the value of community mm. and the value of being a responsible civic uh, individual, uh, a responsible citizen. So that kind of spirit transforms into a more informed and more active voting mm. adult as okay. a result. So again, a correlation of the community service yielding a more responsible community member, a voting person, a, yes. a voting informed adult. And I love that because we really are all in this together, as I love to say. Yeah. You know, it's so important. Anything else that you want to talk about? Service projects and how important they are? Well, they are important for the individual student, yeah. but they're also important for nonprofits and mm. community-based organizations, churches, there are many, many needs right now in our society, and all I have to say is the word help wanted. Yes. We know that there are so many places where they're looking for, for help, and so one way to backfill some of these uh, necessary tasks, it's through volunteerism. Sure. So by, by stepping up, students will gain, but so will communities. Sure, you know, sometimes kids are doing service projects at nursing homes and different places, and the smiles and the faces and the love that they create with those that they come in contact with is just amazing. You it's love immeasurable, to see it. isn't yeah, it? It yeah, it really is. Well, thank you, Dr. Douglas. We really appreciate you bringing this to us today. Thank you. Of course, you are so welcome. For more information about today's topic, check out the lifestyle page at WNEM.com. There's more TV5 News at 9 right after the break.